The Fascinating Aspects of the Islamic Golden Age The Islamic Golden Age actually has three distinct periods. The Islamic Golden Age is often thought of as a single period, but it actually encompasses three distinct phases. The first two occurred simultaneously in the Abbasid Empire and Umayyad Spain, with a third phase that some scholars include as part of the Golden Age extending into the Timurid Renaissance. The Umayyads were responsible for some of the most stunning architectural feats of the time. The Alhambra Palace in Granada, Spain, and the Great Mosque of Cordoba are prime examples of Islamic architecture that have stood the test of time, showcasing the era's aesthetic and engineering prowess. In Baghdad, the House of Wisdom was established as a key center for the translation movement and scholarly work. Scholars from all over the Islamic world gathered to translate and preserve the knowledge of ancient civilizations into Arabic significantly contributing to the preservation and expansion of global knowledge. Scholars during the Islamic Golden Age made groundbreaking contributions across various fields. In mathematics, they developed algebra and algorithms. In astronomy, they made precise celestial observations. Medicine saw advancements with comprehensive medical texts like Avicenna's Canon of Medicine, which remained a reference in Europe for centuries. One of the era's significant innovations was the introduction of paper, a technology acquired from Chinese prisoners after the Battle of Talas. The Islamic world improved upon the Chinese techniques, which led to the widespread use of paper and the establishment of public libraries. Universal Civilization The Islamic Empire during this time was considered the first truly universal civilization bringing together diverse cultures and peoples from across the known world. This inclusivity fostered an environment where ideas could be exchanged and new inventions could flourish. Unlike other contemporary societies that were built on agricultural land-holding nobility, the Islamic civilization of the Golden Age grew and expanded based on its merchant economy. This economic system facilitated the spread of goods and ideas, as well as the Islamic faith across vast distances. The arts, particularly Arabic calligraphy and geometric design, reached new heights during the Islamic Golden Age. These art forms were not only aesthetically pleasing, but also held deep symbolic meaning within the Islamic cultural context. The legacy of the Islamic Golden Age has had a lasting impact on the world. The knowledge and innovations from this period laid the groundwork for future scientific and cultural developments influencing societies long after the Golden Age itself had ended. The Islamic Golden Age was marked by a spirit of openness and intellectual curiosity. It was a time when scholars, scientists, and artists from different parts of the world were welcomed into the Islamic world, leading to a rich exchange of ideas and knowledge that transcended geographical and cultural boundaries. These details paint a picture of a time when the Islamic world was a beacon of learning and innovation, significantly shaping the course of human history. The Islamic Golden Age stands as a testament to the enduring power of knowledge and the pursuit of understanding. During the Islamic Golden Age, scholars made numerous significant scientific breakthroughs that have had a lasting impact on various fields. Here are some examples. Foundations of Algebra, the Persian mathematician Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi wrote the book Kitab al-Jabr, from which the term algebra is derived. He is known as the father of algebra and was the first to introduce the concept of raising a number to a power. Advancements in Medicine The Canon of Medicine by Ibn Sina Avicenna was a comprehensive medical encyclopedia that became a standard reference in Europe for many centuries. Optics and Vision Ibn al-Haytham al-Hazan made significant contributions to the understanding of optics and vision. He is credited with inventing the first camera and explaining how the eye sees. Astronomy Scholars like Al-Batani improved upon Ptolemaic astronomy and contributed to the development of trigonometry, which was crucial for astronomical calculations. Hospitals and healthcare, the first hospitals that resemble modern centers of health, providing medical treatments and training, emerged in 9th century Egypt 1. 
Chemistry, Jaber ibn Hayyan Geber, often referred to as the father of chemistry, introduced experimental methodology into alchemy, which laid the groundwork for modern chemistry. Mathematics Al-Kindi was a polymath who made important contributions to mathematics, including work on cryptography. Geography Al-Idrisi produced one of the most detailed world maps of his time, and his geographical text, Kitab Nujhat al-Mushtaq, was used for centuries. Engineering Al-Dazari wrote The Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices where he described 50 mechanical inventions, including automata and water clocks. Philosophy and logic. Al-Farabi was known for his works on logic and philosophy, where he attempted to harmonize the thoughts of Plato and Aristotle with Islamic teachings. These breakthroughs are just a few examples of the rich intellectual legacy of the Islamic Golden Age, which continues to influence our world today. So, 